basic uses and properties of drop down button and drop down menu item. Here's a basic flutter app, and let's start by removing all the unnecessary coats. Now, in the body of the scaffold, I provided a center widget, with a drop-down button widget, as its child. The item property is the only required property of drop-down button widget. It accepts a list of drop-down menu item widget, do you remember that? Drop-down menu item widget is only used along with drop-down button. Here I created a list of string for the drop-down content. Now with the map method of list, I mapped all the strings within the list I created with drop down menu item. As I said earlier, item property only accepts list of drop down menu item object. Now, you can see a drop down button widget in the center. Once I hot reloaded, however it's currently disabled and empty, will be needing a stateful widget, since the state will be changed, once we select a new item from the list. The value property is an important property of drop down button, it lets us set the initial item, to be shown in the drop down button. For now, I will just use the first item from the list, later we'll need to change it, and you'll soon know the reason behind it. You did saw an error in the simulator. The reason is once I provided the value of drop down button, the value property of drop down menu item cannot be empty or null. We can provide it with the items that we are getting from the map method. We need the on change property of drop down button to enable the button. It's a function. It provides us the value that is the item the user select from the list. Now I change the value of drop down button to item 1 and store it in a variable as my initial item. It is needed to be done since the value property will always be changed as the user select new item from the list. You can see in the simulator it's still the same and unchanged and we still cannot select a new item for that to change we just need to provide the value that we get from unchanged to the variable i created that is my initial value equals to value have a look at the simulator it will change the value of variable but won't be shown on the screen for that we just need to call set state Some of you might want to get rid of the underline below the widget. To do that we just need to wrap the drop down button widget with a new widget that is drop down button hide underline object. It's a widget that is only used to get rid of the underline of drop down button. Drop down button has several properties that helps to decorate, however some of you might want border around it, or rounder corner, an even different color on the button, which are not directly available to the button. You can just customize it by wrap it with a container. Drop down color property lets us change the background color of the drop down widget when the button is enabled. There are several more properties which are not really necessary. Have a look at it from the official documentation and try it out. You might find something useful to you.
That's all for basic uses and properties of drop down button and drop down menu item. Thank you for watching. If my contents are helpful to you, please leave a like to the video and subscribe the channel as I will be coming with more amazing flutter widgets.